Hello, second grade. Oh my goodness, you've been doing such a nice job counting those coins, making coin combinations to fill a value. It's been really exciting seeing you using the value of those coins and those dollar bills to really think about what we're being asked to solve. Well, we've got two more word problems to think through today, and then you'll have some more time to practice that on your own. But let's first take a peek at our learning target and see what's in store for us today. I can solve word problems involving different amounts of money. So we are still solving those word problems, right? But we're using those different amounts of money. Let's refresh our minds so that we know what we're being asked to do. All right, so we know that we've got our dollar bills, we've got our 20, our 100, our 50, our 10, our five, our one. What about our coins? How much is a quarter worth? All right, we've got our 25 center. We've got our 10, which is our dime. Our nickel's worth five. Our penny is worth one. You're gonna need to know this because get ready, my friends. Look at this first problem. I'm gonna read it once. We're just gonna listen the first time. I'm gonna read it twice. And you're gonna be zooming in to listen for what we know and what we're trying to figure out. And then the third time, we're gonna go back and we're gonna break it apart. Sound good? Okay, let's go ahead and start taking a peek. Mr. Knox's class is collecting money for charity. They have a $20 bill, a $5 bill, three $1 bills, six quarters, five dimes, and 10 nickels in a purchase and pear tree. How much money have they collected so far? It was a lot of money, wasn't it? All right, so this time you listen, listen carefully for what we know about each, okay? Mr. Knox's class is collecting money for charity. They have a $20 bill, a $5 bill, three $1 bills, six quarters, five dimes, and 10 nickels. All right, so tell me, what did you hear? A $20 bill. Just like on the last one, I really like to draw out my coins and my dollars. It just helps me. What else? Ah, a $5 bill. Okay, then what? Three $1 bills. So what will that look like? Draw those rectangles on your paper. All right, I'm looking. There's one $1 bill. Here's two $1 bills. And I need one more to make three $1 bills. Okay, then what do we have? Six quarters? Holy guacamole. And how much is a quarter worth? 25 cents. I want you guys, while I'm doing this, I want you to do this. Have you draw those five quarters, or those six, I'm sorry, six quarters out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? What's the next thing? What do you think? Five dimes. Remember, when you're drawing your coins, you can draw them any way you want to. Sometimes I draw them with the coin, the amount in the middle, sometimes I draw them with a Q or a D or a P or an N. All right, and what else? 10 nickels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there's our nickels. And the nickels worth how many cents? Five cents. I love that you guys are all drawing while I'm drawing. You're not even paying attention to what I'm doing up here, are you? Okay. Yeah, are these all of our coins and our dollars? I think so. $20 bill? Check. $5 bill? Check. Three $1 bills? Check, check, check. Six quarters? One, two, three, four, five, six. Five dimes? One, two, three, four, five. And ten nickels? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. What are we trying to find out? 
We want to find out how much money did they collect. Woo! All right. I want to see you putting these coins together to tell me how much money they have. And we're going to share at least two of these ways. You may begin working. Think, what are you going to do first? Are you going to skip count? Are you going to add? What are you going to do? Are you going to put some together to make numbers? What is your, how are you going to go about solving this? Are you going to do your coins first? Are you going to do your dollars first? What are you going to do? Go ahead and start thinking about it. And I'm going to pop around and ask you questions about it. How did you add those coins or those dollars? Okay. And so how did you get that? Five and three is eight. Okay. And then, okay. And when did you, what did you do with your coins? Okay, so when you did your coins, what did you find? So what did you add together first when you added your coins? Interesting. Okay. So then will your dollar still say that or will they will that change? How do you know? Mmm, okay, so make sure you go back and think about that, okay? All right, what did you add together first? Everybody's doing something different. What did you add together first? Why did you add your coins together first? Because it looked like there was more, ooh. And so what does, why would it help for you to add those together first? Okay, so when you add your tens and ones and hundreds, you always add your ones together first. So you can regroup. That's that's a great strategy. I love that strategy. Um, so when you put those together, what did you find? How many dollars did you add? And where did those dollars come from? How did you show that on your paper? I notice you're so, okay, there you go. I see that circling and then cross it off, okay. And then what did you have left of your coins? All right, okay guys, coming together. Whether you are done or not, it's okay. If you are not done, please pause me. Please pause me because you need to be able to um, think through your work. Um, so don't feel rushed to go ahead and, and, and listen. Um, pause me and resume me when you are ready. We have a couple friends that did st very some different things, and I wanted to make sure that we had take a minute to share that work. So I have one friend I want you to share, and then we're going to share the other one. So what did you do first, darling? Okay, so you added your dollars. So when you added your dollars, what did you do when you added your dollar bills? Okay, so you added your five, your one, your one, and your one together first. Why? Okay, you that made eight. Okay, and then when you added your 20, what did you find? And it was $28. Okay. So you wanted your one, your smaller numbers to be added together first, and you can easily add that to your 20. That makes sense. How many, who else did that? Okay. All right. So some of you think are comfortable adding those tens or those dollars together first and going that way. Okay. Then what did you do? Whew. Oh, I know. There's a lot of coins, isn't it? Okay. So what did you do with those coins? Oh, Okay. So, we're gonna redraw these quarters, okay. I'm just gonna draw our cues though this time. What did, why did you put four quarters together first? Okay, because four quarters makes one dollar. All right, and you left your other quarters out here to dry. All right, then what did you do? Okay, so then you had your five dimes. 
And what did you know about your five dimes? Okay, that's 50 cents. What, why did, what? Oh, oh, okay, so this is 50 and this is 50. Okay, so what does that tell you? Oh, so that 50 and this 50 equals 100 cents, which is another dollar. Okay, then what did you do? Then you had your 10 nickels, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, so then you had 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 50 cents. Okay, now what? How much money do you have? Okay. So you had $28, and now you have to add two more dollars to it. Why? Where are you going to get $2 from? Your quarters, and your quarters, and your dimes. So now those are going here to that $2, and now you have $30. And you still have $0.50, cents, so your total is... $30.50. Great. Agree? Disagree? Okay. All right. Who else did it similarly? Why was this a good way for you to solve it? Okay, so skip counting was helpful. Finding your dollars was really helpful. It's almost like regrouping those tens. Absolutely. Okay, so then you added those after you had added those dollars. Fantastic way of solving it. All right, had another person solve it some, some, some way, a little bit different, but still very similar in a lot of ways. Okay, I'm actually gonna draw theirs along this work here, if that's okay with everybody, okay? All right, so tell me what you did first. Did you start with your dollars as well? Oh, okay, you did not. All righty, so what did you do first then? Okay, you started with your coins and you started with that quarter, which was a, which those four quarters was one dollar. And you added it over here, okay? Then what did you do? Okay, so you had your 10 dime, or five dimes, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, but then you added your nickels to that. Okay, so 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So you took that, and then what'd you do with it? Okay, so then you had 50 cents left over with our little guys right here, okay? And then what did you do? You said 25 and oh, you have five more, three and four and five. And 25 and five is 30. And so how much money do you have? $30. And 50 cents. Does everybody see that? So if it says how much money did Mr. Knox's class collect so far? How much money did Mr. Knox's class collect so far? $30 and 50 cents. Awesome. All right, friends. Let's take a peek at this next launch. This next one, it's a humdinger, guys. I'm not going to lie. Okay, it took Ms. Baker some thinking time to make sense of this problem. Um, I, ha I have no doubt that you guys will probably figure it out in a snap. But let me read it to you and let's see what you think. Elizabeth bought a toy at the store for $97.47. $97.47. How much does toy cost? How much change will she get back 
if she pays with a $100 bill. Elizabeth bought a toy at the store for $97.47. How much money will she, how much change will she get back if she pays with a $100 bill? What do we know? She bought a toy, so she spent this money, okay? $97.47, so she's spending it. Okay? She has a $100 bill in her hand. So she has $100. She's spending $97.47, okay? What are we trying to find out? How much change will she get back? So what's an equation we could write to match this story problem? Because this is kind of tricky. What's an equation we could write? What do you think? Okay, so we could start with 100 because she has $100. Now I'm gonna put this decimal and I'm gonna draw the zero, zero after because right now we have zero cents with that $100, right? But I did that because, take a peek at how much money she's spending, right? She's spending $97.47. And I feel like if, if we're gonna have a decimal point and cents afterwards on this subtract, what we're taking away, we really need to have that decimal with those um, cents on the first problem, right? And we don't know how much she's gonna get left. She's gonna have left, right? That's what we don't know. Yes, we could also do this. We could also say $97 and 47 cents plus something equals $100, right? Either of those equations can help us. So using both of those, one or both of those, how much change will she get back? What can we do to help ourselves solve this? I think it's important for us to be using what we know, right, about decomposing or breaking up our coins and our dollars. So I could draw a $100 bill, but I'm gonna have to bust it up, like I would have to bust up a 1,000 cube, or a flat of 100, or a 10 into ones. So we're gonna have to bust it up eventually. You may wanna be thinking about how you can break it up into smaller dollars and coins, or um, smaller bills, so that it makes it a little bit easier to either add or subtract. Take a few moments and go ahead and start solving that, and I want you to resume when you are done. I'm going to go ahead and keep talking. I want you to pause me right now, and when you are ready, you may go ahead and hit play. All right, friends. So, how can we go about solving this problem? Okay, how many of you started with your $100 bills and took, or $100 and took away? How did you break up that 100? Okay, into a couple 20s. How many 20s did you use? How did you, how many 20s did you break up or did you use? Okay, so you only did four. Why only four? Because it makes 80. Okay, and so then what? 90. Okay, you broke it up even more. 95. 96. 97. 98. 99, and then what did you do? Okay, so you actually did break it up. You were, okay, no, you, okay. All right, 100, okay. What'd you do first? Okay, you took away 97 cent, $97. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, okay. So you started with 100, you took away 97, and you had $3 left. Okay, makes sense. $100, take away $97 equals $3. Okay, then what did you do? 
Okay, so you had to take away 47 cents. Okay, oops, we're up here. How can you take away 47 cents? We gotta break up a one, don't we? Now how are you gonna break it up? Okay, 25, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100 cents, right? And why did you only do two, why did you only do two quarters? Okay, so you know you needed to have like 40 cents um, and seven, you need to have seven as well. Okay, so then what did you do? Okay, so you took away 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47. And what did you find? You have 53 cents. And how many dollars do you have left? Two dollars. So what is gonna go here? Two dollars and 53 cents. That was helpful, wasn't it? Okay, so very nice. Take, starting at 100, taking away your dollars and then taking away your cents. Did everybody see what they did? Okay. So then somebody else took the time to do, or they started at 97, for 97, 47, and then added on to get to 100. So what does that look like? Okay, so you'd use your dollars and your cents too, okay? I was trying to do a number line when I was solving it. It was very tricky. Okay, so you built $97. Okay, so 20, 40, Stop me, okay? If I'm if I'm leading a leading a wrong lay the way the wrong way, eighty, ninety. Am I good so far? Ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven. Okay, and then forty seven. Quarter. Is that okay. All right. Twenty five. 35, 45, okay, 46, 47. Okay, so right here is $97 and 47 cents. Everybody see that? Now we have to try to get to $100. Okay, so what did you do first? Start with your coins. Interesting. This for her, their dollars. You're starting with your coins. To add. Why are you starting with your coins? Trying to get to those zero coins, the zero cents to get to that next dollar. Okay, so if you're at 47 cents, how many cents do you need to add to get to uh, the next dollar? Okay, so you first added three pennies. So that's 47. 48, 49, 50, and then you added 50 more cents. Okay, that makes sense. So yeah, we have 50 and 50, and I can exchange that for $1. Okay, and so now how much money do I have? 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98 dollars. So now I have 98, 99, 100. So this and that is what I added. So how much did I add? I added $2. 53 cents, two dollars and 53 cents. Mm. Adding on to get to that unknown. Again, 
making sense of what we know and using the combinations that we know, being willing to regroup, putting these things in our hands as concrete work. When I go to a store and I'm getting change, they will start with what I gave them and then they will count on to get to the total. That's what this friend did, okay? Takes a lot of practice, but making that dollar and then adding on from there is a great way to make sense of that. I challenge you to practice this some more. I can't wait to see the sense that you make from, these, from this work. Happy solving, friends.